So excavator turntable replacement. So first thing I did is took the covers off of the final drives and pulled the center shafts out so it'll freewheel. This bearing needs to be replaced. So we've taken all the top bolts out. That's the last one right here, these long ones. And on the rotary manifold there, disconnected the five hoses and capped them. So we'll try for a lift off here. Bolts are out up on blocks. in then you're on wood so it's going to want to slide to the back And that should be good. Lower it back down, sit on blocks for a bit. Just pulling the last three bottom bolts out of here, the bottom ring. Then I'll lift it off. Got the other one sitting over there, good used one. Just nudged it off with a five foot bar. Just get a little kick and get the water out of it. Removing the old ring. set the used one on. I didn't go nuts, I didn't machine it or hone it or nothing, just brake cleaned it, touched it up, a couple little scratches on the deck there, just ground them off. Set this on. set in.
top ring bolts are in. Just going to go around one more time with a five foot bar and crank them down. I'm going to reattach the travel motor and travel brake lines back to the rotary manifold. And the lines all reattached now. Pull the cover off. That's the planetaries. Put this center gear back in. Then it'll all be live. But this will take a little bit, so need two hands. And the after shot. All went together. Goes around in circle after circle with no problem. So, job completed.